welcome back to the mask mandate it is august 25th and we're back to this in bc but it's okay because there's nobody in here right now hi my name is tiffany and this summer i'll be working and living in blind channel a remote community on west thurlow island complete with a marina store restaurant and more come along and join the adventure first customer i straight up forgot <laughs> he like left i was like oh right masks <laughs> But we are here. My wrist is not hurting today, which is phenomenal considering yesterday it was terrible and I hated everything. Um, one of my coworkers pushed on it pretty hard and it doesn't, it, if I go like extremes it hurts, but other than that, it's mostly fine. I keep hearing people. I think somebody's gonna come. Alrighty, I am home now and it's um, lunchtime, but the problem is we are skint on food. Just straight up, I just don't have much food left. Is this gonna fit in here? Uh, it's not gonna fit in there. Okay, we'll go here then instead. So, pasta <laughs> is about what I've got. So, we're gonna do pasta. And obviously it's gonna be penne because penne is the best. Oh my god, do you hear the clip? Tippy daps, tippy daps behind me. Oh, hello, Strudel. <laughs> Hi. This sweetie was home all by herself this morning. I just let her out and she was asleep on the bed. Where's she gone to? She knows, she knows where the treats are. Ma'am, can I help you? What would you like? What would you like, ma'am? She's going, she knows. Do you want the last treat I have? Would you like the last treat? Okay, let's give her the last treat. The last of the sausages. <laughs> this is not a one-handed task. Okay, strudel sit. There you go. Oh, what a good girl, yummy. Okay, just drop it, that's fine. I didn't just give you something. Anyways, it is lunchtime. Like I said, my food is skint. I have pasta, I have craft dinner, I have Annie's pasta. I have one thing of spaghetti sauce. I have some wieners, so I could do like wieners and beans. And um, here you go, here you go, go on. Um, and I just pulled a steak. So, you know, we're skinned, but my friend is back on Monday, and so my mom can send out food with him, so I'll just have to survive until then. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm trying to kick the dog toy out of my room. I was not sure about bringing in food because I wasn't sure when I was gonna be here till, but now that you know my wrist is feeling better, which is fantastic, um, I think I am okay to try to stay until like mid-month, so that is good. Anyways. That's the update. It's been pretty slow today, which has been nice. And I've also been able to do some things, which has been great because of this feeling much better. It's still a little sore. And I also have to remember that just because it's not currently hurting, I feel like I said this earlier, I've said it a couple times today, just cause it's not currently hurting doesn't mean it's not going to hurt in the future. So just trying to take it easy, but um, hopefully today will be a better day. I have a bit of a headache, but we'll probably survive. Oh, I'll show you my secret Santa gift that I got. So this is the bag. <laughs> it's a picture of me proving to my boss that I can carry stuff on my head. Cause he was like, all this stuff isn't gonna fit in this basket, which it did. And then he said, well, now you gotta carry it over there. And I said, I can put it on my head and carry it over if you want. And I did all the way, but um, he made me some air fryer um, salt and vinegar potato chips. So we will, I, I can smell them. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I tried some yesterday. They're, you know, a little bit soggy because being flavored. Um, but yeah, very nice. Anyways, let's pick that back up because that's cute. And uh, maybe today I will feel adventurous enough to fold my clothes instead of just feeling sorry for myself because that's how it's been the last few days. <laughs> By the end of the day, I was definitely not feeling up to doing this. And now 
another morning of trying to find matching socks in this disastrous pile. Fun times. I'm a mess. I'm halfway to dressed. It is 8.30. I woke up like half an hour ago. It's pouring rain today and um, I'm trying to find socks as I mentioned. Almost. <laughs> I have to wear matching socks. It's a weird thing about me. And um, you just can't not have matching socks. Oh my god, wait, is this a winner? No, it's purple. It has to be pink. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Then I'm going to go to work. My wrist is a little sore today. Um, oh my god, why? Why can't I just fold my clothes and put them away, to be honest? Um, <laughs> but we'll survive, probably. Should I wear this shirt or should I wear that shirt? This shirt's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm finding the socks at the bottom. There's promise. I think I have one of these. Okay. Now I have matching socks. We are good. And this is the state every morning. So I'm going to finish getting ready. Probably put in some contacts because it's rainy and also masks are mandated again. And I don't want to get off boggy. And um, then I'll head down to work. Sky turns gray against a fiery display of red and golden hues like the day I fell for you so what will you do when the sun begins to fall I'm waiting here for you won't you answer my call don't you wanna get cozy with me we'll dive into a reverie I don't even know. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am back. Um, I got a phone call today. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is a mess. Everything. I don't know where to put this. Anyways, I'm getting popular down there. Wait a minute. <laughs> got distracted by messages. Anyways. Okay, good call from Elections Canada because if you remember, um, not last year, but the year before, I'll try to remember to link it, I came out here to Blind Channel for the election in October. I was here for a couple weeks for work because some of my bosses were away and then um, I came back to the election as well. This is terrible lighting. I'm aware of it. Um, so I got a phone call saying, hey, you were like um, central poll supervisor or something. Do you want to do it again? And do you know someone who can be your... Uh, deputy returning officer and so I asked the woman that did it with me last time out here one of my bosses and she said she'd be down I talked to my boss who would normally do it and he's like I don't want to do it and so um he's like I don't need the job and so as long as I can get the time off from the theater which I think I should be able to is this blurry I feel like I'm blurry um <laughs> Then I'm gonna come out. I just need to confirm with the theater tomorrow, but I had to go call the lady back and express my interest and my availability. So that's what we are doing. And I think I need to fix this disaster of a room, like really badly. Like, I think I mentioned this before. I have three Benadryls, all in various states of empty, but mostly full. I think I'm just gonna pour them all together. That's probably fine. And then like, all this embroidery floss like I don't need it anymore I got like two little spots to do in here so I should just keep out the colors and put the rest away yeah yeah 
Yeah, so I should also put away my clothes. So I think we're gonna spend some time doing that because I desperately need to, but I think first I'm gonna ice my wrist because it is bugging me a bit. By the end of the day, I, I could tell that we were busy because it was hot. So I'm gonna start with that, maybe listen to some music or audiobook, and then um, see what we can get done today. <laughs> All right, step one, that's mostly clear. This is mostly clear. The floor, the floor is empty. And um, all my dirty clothes are in here, which means <sighs> that all my clean clothes are over here. But hopefully this won't take too long. I think most of them can hang. Um, <laughs> so that's good, because I really don't feel like folding things. Oh, there's also a laptop under here. I really need to edit videos too. <sighs> Like the last videos I edited were heat wave at the beginning of July, I think. It's the end of August. <sighs> Anyways, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I can get some footage transferred at least. I don't know. I don't know, I have so much footage I need to go through and sort through and figure out. I think I sorted most of the second stage of, like the second set of vlogs. I think it's mostly sorted, but they have vlogged so much since then, I don't know. But step one, get the cord out of the bed and fold this and then we'll see how we're feeling at the end of the day. It's also somebody's last day today. She's working in the kitchen, she's gonna finish and then she's gonna leave tomorrow. We're starting to lose people, that's the second person gone. And then a couple days later, I think it's like, Tuesday or Wednesday, another person goes, tick tock, tick tock. I, um, I don't think I mentioned it, but I talked to my boss about departure dates. So like the 9th of September is the end of our pay period. And then the 10th is the day we normally go to town anyway. So I was like, maybe, maybe that could be it. So we'll see. <sighs> and then I'll just be back here on the like 19th or something. Anyways, assuming everything goes well with elections. So be gone for 10 days, can get these checked out, can work a little bit at the theater and then um, back for a couple days and then back to work and then back out here for Thanksgiving. <sighs> it's really gonna be a busy couple of months for me, I think, but step, step whatever we're on this. Gotta, gotta fold that or whatever that. Alrighty, so it is the next day. Um, my battery died on my camera, and then after putting away all my clothes and clean my room, my wrists were quite sore. They're still sore today, so I'm double braced at the moment. Bam, bam. And um, hopefully it's not too crazy of a day because another staff left today, the person who shares that wall, so. Yeah, it's fun, which means I can be louder in the morning and not worry about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, just getting ready for work now. Not, it's not gonna be a good day, I can tell, because I woke up with sore wrists. Um, but you know, it is what it is. And we just, we're gonna push through. We're gonna bring the ice back to work today. And um, just gonna hope for the best. Apparently last night in the restaurant, it was a gong show. <laughs> because they had like 40 people and one of the servers won't wear a mask anymore so she can't serve people and so now my breakfast buddy who's not actually a server is trying to serve 40 people by herself um, <laughs> and the chef the the one like the sous chef left today and the head chef said you know I can't serve more than 20 people on my own um, like cook for them and um, <laughs> there's 28 already in for dinner tonight so yeah that's great so we'll see how today goes <laughs> all right hello it is later oh i gotta put my hours in it's an important thing keeping track of hours and all so i worked for eight hours and 45 minutes today um i was i was open late and then Oh, I can't do two things at once. I was open late and then I had to um, 
go get the golf cart for people in the cabin and then I opened up the store for them and then cashing out and then oh another cabin needed coffee so it was just you know a bit hectic at the end we also have a table here from another resort nearby it's called Sonora Lodge and it looks like it's all their staff and a lot of them came in because they were here like half an hour early so a lot of them came in to get um drinks and they were all looked like babies so I ID'd them all I was like Mwah. I was like everyone I'm like you know the question but you know after the first one they were all ready with their ID so that's great all right that's special anyways I'm gonna go down to the share bear and visit my wrist is feeling a bit better which is great because I was hurting most of the day so that is fantastic I need to wash my hands because I was just rolling on the floor with or ground with strudes and um seven o'clock gonna go socialize for a bit and then come up and um probably feed myself with some sort of food which is questionable at best still well that was a longer night than anticipated it's five minutes after midnight also I've been having allergic reaction for a while so I guess we're gonna do some Benadryl <laughs> I never measure it so I'm like am I overdosing or underdosing I don't know anyways it is late but I'm staying on the share bear until like 10.30 socializing and chatting and it was nice because it's like the first night that I've done that all summer and it is the end of August. I also contacted the Elections Canada lady so that is good. Got my training day set up and then um, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Came back and then me and my dock attendant lady, girl, friend, and my breakfast buddy um i'll chat it just until now and so i'm gonna change my pjs i just turned the heater on because it is brisk in here and um then i'm gonna go to sleep i have no idea what this video is about hopefully it's long enough to be a video i don't know wrist um it's doing all right it's still i don't know if you can see the difference so you can kind of see it's more swollen right here right there versus this one so anyways it was hurting most of the day and then like right near the end of the day it stopped hurting um which was good but it's still bugging me a bit no no we'll see anyways good night good night good night <laughs> see you in the next one